Hello, my name is Alexey Arhipenko. Today I'd like to show you my new project called MGEN or Music Generators Laboratory. Currently you see how the screen of the program looks like. So it's a Windows PC application written using C++ language with a free source. Currently the program is in active development but even now you can find several released versions. Here are releases, latest release with two working algorithms. So how does the program work? The first thing you need to do is to select an algorithm and configuration for it. Algorithms are sorted into groups. Each algorithm, for example, random solo algorithm has several configurations. So each configuration is a file with some variables set. For example, let's open this medium and slow configuration of random solo algorithm and then we can click generate. For demonstration purposes, this algorithm was working very slow, but of course it works fast if there are no delays, so that you can see how it works. This red zone shows nodes that are being generated and uh, that were not yet sent to playback, and uh, this white zone shows nodes that have already been sent to playback. The opacity of nodes shows their velocity, and the uh, color of nodes shows their voice. Currently there is only one, one voice in this algorithm. You see that playback starts before the ending of algorithm. You can select port where you want to send music and currently it is loop midi a virtual driver which is sending music to reaper and currently i am playing this music in friedlander island so why did i come up with creating a new music generation laboratory when there are a lot of on the market i decided to combine the following properties for music developers and music composers using c language makes it incredibly fast which means that complex algorithms will have more possibilities to run without taking a whole week for it system is open source and extensible on github which means that every developer can add his own algorithm new algorithm can be added using class inheritance and a developer gets a convenient interface to the main program so a developer needs to send notes in chunks like this and uh, other information to the main program and program with handle all display and sending to digital audio workstation second important property is uh, real time so you see that generators do not need to run to the end so that you can see and listen to the results. You can save and load results of generation for later analysis. You can export to MIDI file and also you can open generated music in a notation editor as soon as generation is finished. For this, of course, you need MIDI file association with this editor. Here is the music in notation form. And the last but not the least is that it adapts the music so that it can be conveniently played in a virtual instrument to maximum realistic playback using this virtual instrument. Currently this feature is in progress but several things have already been done. For example if you are familiar with contact virtual instruments you know that some instruments need that you extend the note start to the left so that legato rhythm is synchronized with non-legato rhythm is done automatically and also for example in fast passages if you extend the note to the left too much that can be overlapping with a pre previous note like for example in this case this problem is also copped automatically so on so as a result you get music adapted for playback on virtual instrument the goal of the project is make it playback as uh, you have manually set it in digital audio workstation. You can click on each note and get additional information about each note that will help you to debug or understand what's happening here. Also there is a lot of information at the bottom of the program sorted on different tabs and also developer can send to any tab. Now I will show you the second algorithm that is already that already exists in the program and it is Contus Firma Major Full Scan. So how this works you select an algorithm then is select configuration uh, for example let's select this configuration that shows uh, all Cantus firmos available for these three types of errors so let's generate So in this generation, three types of errors are allowed. First one is uh, this color. It is late leap resolution when leap is resolved after the second note. Uh, then there is uh, seventh and also there is also tried and allowed if it is resolved correctly. Thank you for listening. That was a demonstration of features that have already been implemented. The development is in progress and if you are interested, you can contact me using email or YouTube contact.